Nice to see you, Carl. Thank you, Conan. How are you? Good. Me and Spaulding have our matching mm. outerwear. <laughs> You're wearing linen, and I think that's important. It's summer now. <laughs> that's you right. You should all wear linen because <laughs> it's so hot in this studio, isn't it, folks? Yeah. <laughs> They're melting. My kind of crowd. Yeah. Yes. Let me tell you, Colin, you're in the theater now. This is very exciting. It is very exciting to be in the theater. As Mr. Gray, you know very well the theater life. And, uh, well, last I'd like to start out by talking about the last time we met on the court. Ah, that's right. You and I played basketball. That's right, we did. It's like uh, a year and a half ago or something. It was about two years ago, actually. I remember the date, July 6th. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> after the game, you bought, uh, you and Adam Sandler were friends, and you bought him a soda and yourself one and didn't buy me one. I was. <laughs> It's not a big deal, folks. I don't want it to be like he's. Now, don't you shouldn't take that hoping. personally. I just I, I thought that Adam Sandler was thirsty, and I didn't know that you were thirsty. Well, I was very thirsty, and uh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Like I said, it's no big deal. You kind of a, you had a good game, a kind of a Rick Smith thing going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, I like to think of myself as sort of a Rick Smith, <laughs> like a gangly, goofy guy. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant you know, <laughs> guy's not afraid to shoot the ball up once in a while from outside. <laughs> <laughs> How far outside was I shooting? 25, 30, 30 yeah. feet. Were they going in? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, they were all swishes. <laughs> That's why the soda thing hurt even more. You know, after a successful game, you'd figure you'd want to go for the 70 cents and hook somebody else up, but... Oh, I'm sorry, Colin. It won't okay, happen Colin. again. Thank you. Let's go after the show. I'll, uh, Spalding, Gray, you, Andy, and I will all go out, and we'll, I'll, I'll buy sodas for everyone. Oh. That'll be great. <laughs> You look thrilled about the whole thing. Oh, oh, come on, this is nice. You're sanctifying grace. You've got a one-man show. That's great. Those yeah. are hard to do. Um, well, it's hard. Like you said, that theater, I'm used to the money of the stand-up comedy circuit, that instant gratification, mm -hmm. and I'm really making no money. Spoiling, as you well know, that's what I was going to say. It's, you know, there's not a lot of money in the theater. No offense to you, but it's slim pickings out there. <laughs> no, I, well, you're doing the John Borman film for the money, but you know what I mean. <laughs> well, he stole the suit, too. I think that's some indication that... <laughs> You know, no, I, it's, I don't it's, know if I'm getting paid for this show, but I know I need it. I'll tell you that much. Do we pay? We pay people to come on this show? Yeah, a couple of hundred. What? You don't just come on because you want to? Well, no, of course. I mean, the money's you know, nothing to do with it. You know, I like living with my mother. <laughs> 35 years old, but... <laughs> right, so the money isn't rolling in now that you're doing Sanctifying Grace. No, I noticed this is a play. This is a show about... Our being people. I, being Irish, our people. Why would you think I was Irish? I don't know, maybe just... <laughs> I noticed this, I was, looking through the, uh, I was looking through the program. We have the program here, we leave nothing to chance for your show. And I noticed that all the ads are for Irish bars. <laughs> it's true. Look at this, Fitzpatrick's, uh, Rosie O'Grady's, McCrory's. The whole thing is packed with Kinsale Tavern, Flannery's, Gallagher's, Lanigan's, Fiddler's Green, PJ Morin's. What's going on? You just go to every bar and get cash from them? Yeah, well, the last page is an ad for... AA, as you can see. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, but this show is about growing up. You grew up in Brooklyn. Right, but it's not about that. It's just about a, there we go. <laughs> okay, then it is about that, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. But it's, you're growing up and, uh, and being Irish. Yeah, that's exactly what it's about. It's about that Northeast Irish thing. That's why I was a little disappointed when you didn't come opening night, you know. I don't mean to sit out here and criticize you. I know the basketball and now this, but you know. I didn't buy you a Coke and I didn't come opening night. You're well, the biggest Irish New York celebrity. Dennis Leary's out of town. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. That's me. I'm number two. <laughs> it's not easy to be number two. Well, that was an intimate moment we had. I got a real charge of it myself. <laughs> We're gonna go wait a commercial and f no, no, <laughs> nothing's gonna happen. Uh, now, let me, let me ask you something. The, the, right. the, uh, the remote control thing. Yeah. All right. I know that you're doing legitimate theater now, and that's yeah. exciting. But do you miss being on remote control MTV? Um, I miss it because you know the sidekick life, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe you two can uh, talk now about maybe the sidekick life. Maybe you're a little too life. thrilled about it. I mean, kind of ignoring me, actually. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> it was it was a good life. But you know, like you, like Ken Ober, gets the lion's share of the money. You guys like me and Andy. Let's face it, we don't. That's really... right. That's not true. Andy gets. Andy gets paid much more than I do. Really? Andy gets like 90% of the money and I get 10%. That's how we've worked it out. Okay. My dad owns NBC. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, you know what? The sidekicks should have a union. Are you guys organized? Are sidekicks organized? Andy, what do you say? We get together down at the local yeah, after 16 the show, after we'll... the show. Okay. Pound a few down and. All right. 
You miss it though? Do you miss doing a show like uh, Remote Control? Was it fun? That's silly. Why would I miss the adulation? <laughs> <laughs> big money. I like no. can labor off Broadway on 11th Avenue. And hopefully the guys from the Munson Diner will show up. <laughs> Don't put this show down. This is I legitimate the theater. I know. I, there, I, I want to ask you. a big review in the uh, post today, and then Barbara Streisand's thing knocked it right out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she needs it. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. You need the publicity, not me. I'm doing great. <laughs> well, no, no I. Good. No, no uh, good. No, Barbara Streisand does need a push right now. <laughs> You've had your share I've of success. I've had my chops. No, <laughs> I, there's, a, there's a line in here I want to ask you about. There's a line in your show that I heard about, which is a guy, uh, someone in the play is half Irish, half Italian, which means he loves to fight and he can. Right. <laughs> now, I just, I want you to explain that to me. Who, who can't fight? Why would I explain that and possibly risk a left hook at some bar some night <laughs> from whoever side I say can't? And the sad thing about that line is Mario Joyner, you know him? He was another MTV guy. Yes. He wrote that line. Oh, really? And just gave it to me. What's sad well, about that? Laugh. Well, it's sad that the one line you quote in the show was written by somebody who's really <laughs> nothing to do with the show. Other so than let's his review. Line, he gave me his free line. Let's quickly review how many times I've offended you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and in our... It started July 6, two years ago. It <laughs> all started uh, with a can of ginger ale. Uh, was it ginger ale you wanted? No, it was ginger ale that you and Adam Sandler had. Oh. What uh, did you want? What would make this up for you? I want. I want to end the I bad wanted... vibes between us. No, I wanted a coke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get you a Coke after the show. And listen, best of luck with this. Thank you very Colin much. Colin Quinn is in Sanctifying Grace. You guys should check it out. Thanks, Dave.